and welcome to Black Mesa. Yes. Black Mesa Research Facility, New Mexico. Good morning and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8.47 a.m. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees with an estimated high of 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. dormitories to Sector C test labs and control facilities. If your intended destination is a high security area beyond Sector C, you will need to return to the Central Transit Hub in Area 9 and board a high security train. If you have not yet submitted your identity to the retinal clearance system, you must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system. Due to the high toxicity of material routinely handled in the Black Mesa compound, no smoking Eating or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa Transit System. Yes. Oh. Please keep your limbs inside the train at all times. Do not attempt to open the doors until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. In the event of an emergency, passengers are to remain seated and await further instruction. If it is necessary to exit the train, disabled personnel should be evacuated first. Please stay away from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives. A reminder that the Black Mesa Hazard Course Decathlon will commence this evening at 1900 hours in the Level 3 facility. The semifinals for high security personnel will be announced in a separate secure broadcast transmission. Remember, more lives than yours may depend on your fitness. Yes. Oh, and 
Anomalous Materials Laboratory. Do you have a friend or relative who would make a valuable addition to the Black Mesa team? Immediate openings are available in the areas of Materials Handling and Low Clearance Security. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. If you have an associate with a background in the areas of theoretical physics, biotechnology, or other high-tech disciplines, please contact our civilian recruiting team. The Black Mesa facility is an equal opportunity employer. <laughs> A reminder to all Black Mesa personnel, regular radiation and biohazard screenings are a requirement of continued employment in the Black Mesa Research Facility. Missing a scheduled urinalysis or radiation checkup is grounds for immediate termination. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous materials in the course of your duties, contact your radiation safety officer immediately. Work safe. Work smart. Your future depends on it. Now arriving at Sector C test labs and control facilities. Please stand back from the automated door and wait for the security officer to verify your identity. Before exiting the train, be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Thank you, and have a very safe and productive day. Okay, we'll do that. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Morning. Looks like you're running late. Good day, sir. You know, Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. Guess his bar tab must have finally caught up with him. Talk with personnel. Let's see. Put some pep in that step, Freeman. You're late enough as it is. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Hello, sir. Aw, oh, man, you cut the ponytail. <laughs> Sell out. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Yes, anomalous material. Hey, Mr. Freeman. Hi. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Okay, we'll do. Good day, sir. Please excuse me, Gordon. Get away from there, Freeman. I'm expecting an important message. <laughs> Good day, man. There was someone downstairs asking about you. Or was it upstairs? <laughs> okay, we'll see. We will see. What do we have here? Blue screen. Good morning, Dr. Freeman. Morning. Thermal protection system seems to be online now. Those TPS reports Oh, and would you look at that? Worse. Freeman uh, actually uh, did show up for work this morning. Yes. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> here owes me We're lunch. Good morning, this. Freeman. What? always attend the next convention. They were betting on if we show up or not. <laughs> Good morning, Gordon. Morning. 
the sample we just sent down to the test chamber. Okay. Can you access the mail server? Research Development Personnel Facility. You forgot to carry the two, or was it the three? <laughs> Hello, sir. I don't know about that, Dr. Truman. Seems to me that he's just spouting buzzwords in his research papers that he picked up from perusing popular scientific periodicals. Sector B, coolant reserve. Yes, good day, sir. You got the wrong airlock, Mr. Freeman. You know I can't let you through here. Okay. Let's see what we find down here. You're living in the past. That experiment is single-handedly responsible for inspiring my career in science. How much recognition do you think you're going to get for reproduction, though? You should focus on inventing something new and unique. He does have a point. Oh, but this is more than replication, I assure you. For one, it shows how far our field has come since the original study was published and to say nothing of the modern perspective necessary to monitor its influence. I mean, combined with today's technology, I've recreated- Bah! I can't stand to hear another word of this malarkey. <laughs> Don't mind him. But here's something to think about for the next time. You and your sugar-coated airsots are absolutely full of it! Creativity is the art of hiding your influence. Now let's get back to work. We should at least try to look busy. <laughs> At least uh, try to look busy. Hello, Dr. Cross. If this is anything less than a full-scale Code Red Calamity, I'm not interested. Okay. Morning, champ. Morning. Hello. Morning. Let's get our breakfast prepared. Good heavens! What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> you think you can fix the vending machine too, college boy? We will never hear the end of this. Yeah, you'd best make like an atom and split. Cause, uh, that was, um... That was you-know-who's lunch. Oh, I don't know whose lunch that was. I'm not smug. I'm just better than you. What have we here? I have to wear these ridiculous ties. <laughs> Indeed. Truman, Pulaski, Tripled, Montero, Young, Stone, Boatsma, Klesson, Robertson, China, Jaro, where is our thingy? Freeman, here it is. Oh. Ugh, drat. No toilet paper. No toilet paper! Uh, hello? Hello? Could somebody get me some toilet paper? Here you are, man. Oh, thank heavens. I'm in dire need of some toilet paper. <laughs> there you go. Yes. <laughs> I need to activate. Yes. Welcome to the HEV Mark IV protective system for use in hazardous environment conditions. 
High impact reactive armor activated. Atmospheric contaminant sensors activated. Vital sign monitoring activated. Automatic medical systems engaged. Defensive weapon selection system activated. Munition level monitoring activated. Communications interface online. Have a very safe day. Thank you very much. Nice. Yes! And we had one battery here in our locker. Power 30%. Gordon Freeman! Yes, we are the Freeman! Yes, yes! Okay, we got our suit. Oh, I remember my days in the hazardous environment suit. Okay. Ah, oh, now we can sprint. Very good. I hope things return to normal. Captain, please contact human resources. Why? Oh, no. So, what's going on here? Go right on through, sir. Yes. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Thank you. Leadership. Safety. Nice. We've seen that area. Yeah. Responsible. Nice. Innovative. What do we have here? Nothing. Looks like we're going down there. <laughs> Black Mesa, when it comes to protecting science, this guy's on your side. Security force. Oh, yeah, technology, we've seen this thing. Okay, let's go down to the test chamber. Here we go. Loading. Did you catch that last fluctuation? It's nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about, okay. Hmm. We should harness the remaining photonic energy to ensure resonance control. Double check the Brewster's plate's angles and make sure these superluminescent diodes are protected from optical feedback. Yeah. <sighs> Sounds good. What's up, Doc? Good day, sir. All displacement modulators were tuned today, weren't they? Stop asking that question. <laughs> good day. This is going to have to wait, Gordon. Doctor. Good day, sir. Control room. Yes, here we are. Ah, Good day. Gordon. There you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Okay. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Eli has been busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. Greetings, Eli. Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. <laughs> Gordon, good morning. Morning. I'm glad you're here. These last-minute changes, they're a bit strange to just... Oh! It's about to go critical. What in the blazes is going on with our equipment? Oh, it was 
Never meant to do this in the first place. Oh. Uh. It's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. Okay. I don't know if I trust this this whole operation thing. By Beckrell's ghost! The radiation level is off the charts. Mm -hmm. Do you think we should delay for another recalibration? How so? I've got two PhDs and an Ersted medal, yet I find myself doing work best suited for an intern. Please, you do very meaningful work here. Really? Push that button. Walk over here. Push this one. <laughs> Stand and stare at the screen. Walk back over there. Push another button. Again. Come now, you're overreacting. <sighs> I don't know how much longer I can abide these perfunctory tasks. I need more time for myself. Ha! Huh. Don't kid yourself. You wouldn't know what to do with free time if you even had any. That tears it. I'm going to check with the office upstairs and see how many vacation days I've accrued over the past 25 years. <laughs> High time I took a break from all this. Certainly. But before you do, activate the electron multiplier and report the reading from the micro-channel plates. <laughs> Go push a button and read. Any ideas on the origin of that new sample? That's impossible. Okay, test lab. Hey guys. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Okay, hombre. Good day. Uh, here he is. Yes. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't feel... Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Okay. Let's let him in now. Well, I am not so confident about all what we've seen and heard so far. <laughs> Good day, sir. Goodbye. <laughs> Testing. <laughs> Testing. <clears throat> Everything seems to be in order. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mask spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Okay, we'll do that. I push this button, yes? Rotor start. Here we go. Very good. We'll take it from here. Okay. Power to stage one emitters in three, two, one. I'm seeing predictable phase arrays. Stage two emitters activating now. Uh, Gordon, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level, nor how long the reading will take. Uh, please, work as quickly as you can. Okay, we'll do. Capacitors to 105%. Uh, it's probably not a problem. Probably. But I'm showing a small discrepancy in... 
Well, no. It's well with an acceptable balance again. Sustaining sequence. We've just been informed that the sample is ready, Gordon. It should be coming up to you at any moment. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. Okay. Here it is. Standard insertion for non-standard specimen. Okay, standard insertion for non-standard specimen. Let's go. Slot the carrier into the analysis port. Off you go. Ah, God. 